Mama wa kwaba, wa freme ajoa sechin, mesreo, na wa subscribe to my channel. Mia notification bell on also for more news. Nana Adodankwa Kufuado and his able vice president, Dr. Baumia, who is our presidential candidate and I believe is going to win this year, December 7th election and become the next president of Ghana actually completed, you know, rehabilitated the College of Education Road, the internal road, all of them, and completed. Could it? They do mean, you know, for the first time in the history of the district. Yeah. Currently, as we are talking, we are drilling boreholes, mechanized boreholes, in all the second cycle schools and the College of Education. Mm -hmm. They have just finished with GAFCO, the College of Education, mm -hmm. they finished with PESCO, Petit Senior High, they finished with Petit Technical uh, uh, School, you know, they are now moving to Pervet Senior High. We have four senior highs and a College of Education. Mm -hmm. All of them, we are drilling boreholes. Mr. Santi, Mr. Santi, uh, please hold on for me. Mr. Santi, please hold on for me, so that we can speak to the, uh, the pictures. And uh, we are going to show some pictures on the screen. So I'll draw your attention to them so that you can speak to them. Are you watching Thank TV you. At, as well? Oh, yes. Oh, okay, fine. Then that's good. For so if you are really watching, then when we project the pictures, you can speak to them so that we can follow okay. the conversation. Okay. All right. No, please, you can go ahead. Uh, I don't think those pictures you have are all the projects that we are doing in South Dine. Okay. A lot of projects are ongoing in the district. Yes. Last year, if you could remember, the MP, he couldn't do anything for the people of South Dine. Honorable Rockfin, Dafia Mekpok, who I can tell you couldn't do anything. Dafia Mekpok. Yes. The man in court, the man the, uh, running around the Supreme Court. Yes. Who oh, okay. has been taking president and so to the Supreme Court and running away. From the court. Is he the man you are seeking to unseat? Yeah, he is the current MP who I'm going to unseat come December 7th. Wow. If you could remember last year, he was full raises for the president that this is the first time South Dine has witnessed unprecedented developmental projects yes. in the honor of uh, any government in the country. So, Roxy himself attested to the fact that MPP government, led by His Excellency Nana Adodanko Akufuado and his able vice president, yes. who will soon become our next president, have done very well for the district, South Dine. Mr. Nandi Patufapetjes Nuguso. Okay, so you were talking about road infrastructure. Which of the roads was giving you guys, sorry for using the word guys, which was the road was giving the residents headache that now you've been able to uh, rehabilitate or construct uh, to make the roads accessible? Thank you very much. The main road which was giving us headache was Peki Apiti Frame right down to Peki Chami through the Peki Government Hospital Road. Mm -hmm. made this road will be like a one kilometer road. Oh. As we are talking. Just one kilometer. Road, just one kilometer. Ah. And it was giving you people headache. Headache. <laughs> and, wow. and I may say portion all the portions that actually link the hospital have been completed. Wow. Left with only a small portion. That is from Chami runabout to a which will be like uh, point 0.2 kilometers mm. then the entire road will be completed mm. that is the portion the one on the this is the hospital road the key government hospital road you know it has been coated mm. it has been coated wow completed yeah for okay. so many years now from rolling time no Government has ever made any attempt to actually reshape this road 
left alone putting B to me on it. Wow. But His Excellency, Nana Rodan Kufado and his able vice president are able to complete this code and put B to me on it, as you can see. Wow. That's very commendable. And, and, and one funny thing about it is how can the chief executive who is the president main rep representative in the district will be in office and MP who claim that he lobbied for this project. MP who has been taking president to court and running away from the court sitting. He is going around deceiving the people of South Dine that he lobbied for the project, which is a total lie. And I let the people know, I educated them, that he doesn't know. Odnambo Rockfin, Nelson, Eche Kwame, Dafi Mepo, doesn't know anything about this road construction. But, but he's going around boasting to the people that he lobbied the government to come and construct that road. Exactly. That's what he's telling the people. That's what he's telling the people. Because the projects are unprecedented. He himself is marvelous. He has never witnessed this uh, form of project before. In any of the distant, the South Dine is actually witnessing a lot of projects as we are talking. A contractor has just mobilized himself and has come to site to put up a residency for the DC, five different bungalows for assembly workers, and astroturf for the people of Piki. Okay, so let's move away from uh, road infrastructure and then move into education. What What is the success story of education infrastructure in your district? Education infrastructure. Yes, please. Only last year, we commissioned a Tramodin school block at Pali Medugan. If you come to Peki Secondary School, which is Peki Senior High, currently Peki Senior High, Peki Senior High. Peki Senior High. High. Okay. Yeah, Peki Senior High School. You see, this unit classroom has been completed and handed over to the school authorities at Pe uh, Peki Blengo. If you scroll your distance, you'll see the picture of the this is this is this is Parliament Dugan. This is this is Parliament Dugan also commissioned last year. Okay. 12 unit classroom block at Peti Senior High also has been completed and handed over to the school authority. Okay. First, I mentioned this unit classroom block yes. at Peti Senior High. You know, called PESCO. Mm. Completed and handed over. Then, 12 unit classroom block at Peti Senior High also, PESCO, Peti Blengo, completed and handed over. This is the block, this unit classroom at Peti Senior High. Then, yeah, yeah, this is 12 unit classroom block at Peki Senior High. All these things have been actually executed by this administration. Wow. That is Agenda 111, 80% complete. Wow, you have Agenda 111, 80% complete? Yes. Wow. We are now doing the wiring, the inner road. We are left with the inner road to be, you know, uh, coated. You know, it is present complete. That is the structure. You can see Agenda 1-1 one, one come up. Wow. I think it is. It, 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 you come up. This is the key senior high. Okay. Agenda 111 is the next one that you have just shown. Doris, does it mean it's an echo? By you. Okay, all right. Okay. We are just doing the internal finishing. Mm -hmm. And Agenda 111 is completed. It is 80% complete, left 20%. Mm. And I the NDC, with all these things, NDC. Anyway, NDC cannot make noise in my district. So constituency. The only thing the MP is now going around doing, even...